Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is the lowest spec laptop I currently have in my possession. It's a beaten up old Acer with a Celeron N2840 dual core CPU, an Intel HD graphics as well as 4 gigs of RAM. When it comes to gaming, well it could definitely use some improvement as you can see here, with games running ok, but dipping and lagging in terms of frame rate and some more demanding titles failing to get decent performance at all. Sure you could stick to even less demand games, but what if you want to turn an old laptop like the Acer here into an affordable budget gaming PC without the expense of buying the premium docks some companies are offering? Well that's where the device inside this box comes in. This is the £30 or $40 XC Source EXP GDC and it lets you connect any graphics card of choice to a laptop in order to make it capable of playing games. In the box itself you get the dock and the two essential cables needed. You'll also need an ATX PSU and GPU both of which you'll have to supply yourselves of course. An express port version is also available for older laptops. Today I'll be replacing the Intel HD graphics with an HD 5750 GPU, a card that features 1 gig of GDDR5 and should still offer a nice improvement over the onboard graphics. So first of all to install you'll need to access your laptop's motherboard and locate the PCI Express mini port, removing the wireless card. I also removed my DVD drive because I only had access to the motherboard from under the keyboard and so when I refit the keyboard the cable can run through the hole where the DVD drive usually sits. I won't miss it and usually I suspect that you'd only need to take the back casing off a laptop to access the wireless card on most models so I have no idea what Acer were thinking here. Once that's done, connect this cable to it and screw it into place. If you have a slightly different layout, screws may not be required or they may not fit. The other end of the cable which features an HDMI connector can then be connected to the graphics card dock itself and you'll need to take your ATX PSU and hook it up to this other supplied cable as well. Messy I know, but a cheap way to run games on your laptop. I've hooked mine up to my TV as well. It should look something like this when you're done. Getting straight back into the games and you'll see an immediate improvement. Remember that the CPU is a bottleneck now though and will hold back even this old card. Fallout New Vegas now runs at 37 FPS as opposed to 24 with any stutter having disappeared and the same can be said for the Elder Scrolls Oblivion which has seen a nice increase from just 20 frames per second to 36 making it finally playable on a sort of laptop desktop hybrid but one that would look Look way better on a desk than it does on my floor. The ever demanding GTA 4 also saw a bump in performance from a shocking 10 FPS all the way up to 26. Still not a fantastic gaming result but a significant improvement over what we were seeing in GTA 4 beforehand and I could admit that I'd still probably happily play this game in these circumstances. So guys I hope you've enjoyed this look at this external graphics card dock. It's something that a lot of you have been asking me to check out for a while and I'm sure you've seen other people take a look at this as well. Nonetheless I hope you've enjoyed it. I would 100% recommend a device like this if you're looking at turning your laptop into something a little more capable or perhaps you've already bought one for yourselves. If you have let me know down below what you think of it. Let me know what you thought of the video as well. Leave a like on it if you enjoyed it, leave a dislike on it if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.